Because TK, of the lack of get me that house! Get me this offers. house, TK! I actually found a chart a while back um, that showed the historic interest rates from like 1900 on. Mm. So it's actually more than, you know, the real estate boards that have been tracking for about 40 years. And the average mortgage rate was 4.5%. Yeah, but you have to track that against the the wages because that's the fuck up right now. It, it's not the interest rate. I mean, five percent interest rate is a fine interest rate. Wages um, would be more in line with price, though. Price would be something to to contrast. Interest rate and wages shouldn't be as um, important to to to. Inspire. But that's what I'm saying. The fact that the interest rates are an average right now is out of context if you don't include the spread between prices and wages. Right. Because it doesn't matter that they're five percent, six percent, three percent. What matters is that gap between the wage and, and the pricing. Right. That makes sense. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not in the entire picture, but that that's the difference for sure. Four and a half, five percent, even six percent is like doable depending on, you know, where it came from. The, the real problem also is the shock of how quickly we got to this new uh, interest rate, this new reality, right? And same thing on the way down. It was like, they just dropped them to the floor and everybody was like, what do we do? I mean, everything's free right now, right? Like we got, we, we got to go buy stuff. Everybody had to go buy stuff. And then all of a sudden it was like, not even hard brakes. Like everybody flew through the windshield when they put on the brakes, right? Cause they just reversed, they put it in reverse. They didn't put on the brakes. Right. And so now all of a sudden we're like 800 basis points for what did we raise in like under a year like that, that, that people are going to die when you hit the brakes that hard. Right. And, and that's what we saw is we saw that we, we saw all the quick deaths. Then we kind of saw the people that were left, you know, kind of really hurting. And now everybody's kind of used to the, 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 grimness and and the new rates right because it's not the same even if you were looking at a 1.5 million dollar house before and you were looking at a one to two percent mortgage it is a different planet when that same price point now right is at five six percent like Mm -hmm. You can't do it. And the real fuck up was the people that kind of got caught there in the renewal or the quick mortgage or like all the the, the variable bullshit. We're, we're starting to see a few of those. So, Steve, are you seeing the like peak price uh, sales uh, being resold now for much lower? Like you've seen a few of those examples? Um, like, no. you know. You know no. what I'm talking about, right? Someone who, I like do we, know what you mean. So the people that bought, you know, did yeah, anybody that crazy buy prices, in Feb 22 for a crazy yeah. price. Yeah. Um, so I have a guy that bought, I want to say November 21. So it was right in that frenzy. Horrible yeah. timing. So he sold a house, he bought a new property, and he has just life events happen. And he yep. is um, now looking at selling that property and moving to a, a different style of property again. Mm -hmm. The style of property that he uh, wanted to buy in his last move has dropped $300,000. Mm -hmm. And the style of property that he did buy that he is now looking to sell has gone up at least a hundred grand. What? Wait, okay, so give us the property types here, okay. so we can make sense of this. Well, well, so just just to, um, I'm just going to summarize it here, okay? Because this is also really important. Is that there's going to be examples of people who sell for uh, a loss, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that is what the market is doing. So just because mm. someone bought for two point two million and then had to sell it for one point nine, and you're like, oh, three hundred thousand dollars less, it's gone down three hundred. It doesn't mean that all the houses in that area. One could be what Steve did there was like an overall market analysis of type of home where, yeah, that home type is more in demand, scarce, whatever. Right. And so the market dynamics are different. But sometimes people just grossly overpaid in 2022 and that they paid way more of a premium than every other person. And most of the time it happens like this. You're out there, you're making offers, you know, in your agents, like there's 30 offers it sold 400,000 over asking you went in 200,000 over asking. We lost this one. We're going to get the next one. The next one comes in. There's 35 offers. It sells for $350,000 over asking you were 180,000. Oh, don't worry. We're going to get the next one. Then you go to some other house. It's already priced a little bit on the higher side. It's not the same aggressive because TK, of the lack of get inventory. Get me that house. Get me this offers. house, TK. And you say, well, the last guy sold for 400000 over asking. I'll go 500000 over asking. So they bring an offer Get for 500000 over house. asking. 
second place because there's no open bidding was 350. So they they overpaid way more than the second place guy. And so now they own this home that, you know, obviously is way beyond. They got a variable rate. They can't make those payments anymore. They're forced to sell. And prices really didn't go down, let's say, 500000 They only went down 350. But because they overpaid 150, mm -hmm. they'll take a $500,000 loss on that one plus expenses. And it it's a perceived like, oh, the market went down so much. But yeah. a lot of those situations that I'm seeing, I'm like, nobody else was willing to pay that high of a price, even in February 2022. Don't forget somebody appraised that fucking deal. Hey guys, thanks for watching our clips channel. Why don't you go and check out some more clips? We got lots of other good content somewhere over here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Boom. That was good. That was, that was good. good. I like that. That was good.